Hello and welcome back to SCSU TV News. I'm Juliana Farrington. And I'm Brittany Montague. This week we will cover an introduction to Southern's new president, a visit from recent internet sensation Zach Walls, an update on this year's Recyclemania, and more. On February 1st, Dr. Mary Papazian was introduced as the new president of the university. Last week, she held a meet and greet with students in the Student Center. She met with students to introduce herself, discuss their experience at Southern, and discuss future plans for the university. We caught up with Dr. Papazian to discuss her reasons for coming to Southern and her future plans at the university. I want to ensure that Southern is a vibrant intellectual center uh, for this part of Connecticut and for the whole region, and that there is a strong intellectual life here, that our students are successful. I look forward to uh, increasing the, uh, the student success, the graduation rates, and ensuring that the students who leave Southern go out with the kinds of skills and knowledge that will uh, allow them to become leaders in their chosen profession. That's the long term. Um, the short term is, of course, to put Put in place the steps that will make that happen. Recent internet sensation Zach Walls visited campus last week to discuss the issue of same-sex marriage. Walls, the star of the video, Two Lesbians Had a Baby and This Is What They Got, spoke to students about his insight on same-sex marriage. His stardom stemmed from him speaking about his experience growing up with two lesbian mothers in front of the Iowa House of Representatives. Since his speech, he has made appearances on CBS, MSNBC, and The Ellen DeGeneres Show. His book titled, My Two Moms, Hit Shelves, April 26. Sorority sisters of DeFi-E gathered at a table in front of the Student Center Ballroom as they presented a PowerPoint on eating disorders. The event was called ANAD Candlelight Vigil. ANAD stands for Anorexia Nervosa and Associated Disorders. The presentation was held to make people aware of eating disorders and how they affect lives. Recyclemania is underway this semester and has been a huge success so far. Recyclemania is an eight-week friendly competition amongst colleagues and universities across the nation to see who can recycle the most campus waste. All nine Southern Residence Halls have been in a smaller scale competition. Whichever hall recycles the most will win hoodies for all of the residents. We spoke with Heather Stearns, the Recycle Coordinator, to learn more about Recyclemania. Recyclemania is a eight-week friendly competition amongst colleges and universities across the nation to see who can recycle the most amount of material. This is our fourth year. Um, it gets better and better every year. We do a, a campus-wide um, competition amongst the colleges and universities across the nation, but we also do an internal competition with our nine residence halls. We see a lot of the competitiveness with our residence halls kind of competing against each other to see who's going to recycle the most. And the commodities that they're looking at are the bottles, cans, plastic, paper, and cardboard, which we are a single stream campus right now. So all of those commodities can go into one container and makes it really easy for the recycling process. In the future, the more that we have on campus, we're going to be moving to the Smart Belly, which has a computer chip in it that allows us to monitor from our desktop um, through a computer software program to let us know what is actually almost full or completely full. On Wednesday, March 6th, the Haven String Quartet performed in Garner Recital Hall. The concert featured an introduction from SCSU music professor Mark Cuss. The three-piece concert, titled Out of Africa, was written by Cuss with heavy influences from traditional African music. Students were given the opportunity to meet with the professionals in their career path on Thursday, March 7th in the Student Center Ballroom. They were encouraged to ask questions about the pros and cons of their career choices and were given advice from the professionals about the interview process and workload. Well, we brought together about 50 alumni who are in a varied professions so that the students can come down and sit and, and relax and have a little cup of coffee and talk to the, the alumni about what it's like to be in that profession. Thanks again for joining us at SCSU TV News. I'm Juliana Farrington. And I'm Brittany Montague. Don't forget to check out our website and Facebook page. Have a great spring break.